Alright guys, so today's video is going to be the Air Force Depth Tag. been anticipating shooting this video. Now, one of these questions, which is a uh, ship date, I do not currently have a ship date. So once I do get to that question, I'll just add in the information for that. So let's get it going. Question number one, let's start off. Name, age, and height. My name is Ralph Mesador. I am 20 years old and I'm exactly six foot. Where are you shipping from? I am shipping from Miami, Florida. Uh, that is where our MEPS is located. Uh, parents' reaction. Um, as far as my mom' reaction, probably is any other typical mom. You know, she was not really for it at first. Um, you know, like any other mom would kind of worry about the situation. She just thought of military. She thought I was going to get shot and killed. I gave her the um, the gist of everything. You know, she's kind of you know just supporting me now, so she's cool with it. As far as my dad, he was kind of supportive. Um, well, he was more supportive than my mom was. So he's all for it. He's kind of excited for me. So. That's pretty good right there. Depth date, rank, um, and ship date. So I entered the delayed entry program, I want to say like December 4th, because I went to MEPS like December 3rd, so that following like Monday or something like that, um, I was like in the depth, my rank. So I did sign a four-year contract, but I do have college credit. So if I do decide to go ahead and just um, stick with a four-year contract, I will be an E2 after tech school. But if I do sign a six-year contract, as most of you guys may know, I will have been an E3 upon completion of tech school. Um, ship date, like I told you guys earlier, I do not have a ship date just yet. I'm still waiting to hear from my recruiter on my ship date. Most memorable MEPS moment. Honestly, I don't remember one right now off the top of my head. MEPS as a whole was something memorable, at least to me. Um, but I think the most memorable one was taking my pants and everything down in front of the doctor you know that was very unusual it's not something you do every day so it's not the nicest of memorable things but it's something that is to be remembered best slash worst part about depth so far there hasn't been any best or worst parts about depth um you know we go to depth every first and third wednesday of the month and the first meeting we actually do not work out it's just like a qualification check we just step on a scale make sure we're good to go and the second meeting of that month that's when we actually go ahead and work out as a group so it's nothing really to hate or it's nothing really to be in love about something you will miss at boot camp i guess the camaraderie you know when you go to boot camp you befriend all these guys you become close with all these other people that you do not know you know everybody just essentially has a different background but we're all here for the same goal trying to reach the same destination i guess so you know it's very um it's very nice to just meet people and have that camaraderie feeling starting to build up around you uh what are you looking forward to you know i'm just looking forward to have the best time of my life you know just create this journey use this as a stepping stone so i can know exactly what i want to do in my life you know as 20 years old i still have some time in front of me but again i don't want to waste any of that time so i'm just looking forward to having a great time um, you know, supporting and fighting for my country and along with benefiting myself with whatever the military and the government can offer me. Uh, last question, how are you preparing for boot camp? Honestly, only two things come to mind when I think of this last question, and that's just quality family time and conditioning. All right, with my last few weeks or months left here, I just want to, um, you know, spend as much time with my friends and family Make sure I get to enjoy them again before I ship off. Um, but yeah, just spend quality time with friends and family and, of course, working out. You know, I try to go running every chance I get, um, hitting the gym, trying to get some kind of cardio in. You know, cardio is not my best thing, um, but for now, I'm mostly focused on that cardio. As I said, that is the main things you can do to prepare yourself. Um, I don't want to really carry on with this video and make it too long, but I do have a goodie bag right here for my recruiter. Which once you guys enter the debt program, it's something that you all will or should have received. And it just includes a few things. Now, majority of these things I already gave out, so I'm not left too many things. But the bag itself just says Special Forces. You get this um, Air Force water bottle. It's out of the camera shot. You get a keychain, which I'm currently using right now. And you get like two of these bracelets. You get two of these things, I forget the name of them, but you know, the things that hold your can or beer, uh, beer cans or whatever. You get uh, one of these pins right here. You get two of them. You get two of these Air Force stickers. You get um, a pair of black sunglasses with just the Air Force logo on the side right here. 
Uh, you get this Air Force logoed portable charger battery pack type of thing. And then lastly, actually not lastly, you do get a pen. You do get this uh, little pen with the Air Force logo. And then lastly, you get a uh, beanie, which I currently don't have with me right now, but it's just a regular beanie or Scully. And with the Air Force, airforce.com on top of that. And that's everything right there, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just comment them down below. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this page. And stay tuned for the next video.